Good morning and welcome to chapel. Chapel today is about the transfiguration of our Lord. Let's start with a prayer. Dear Lord and Father, thank you for your promise to us that where two or three are gathered, you are there in the midst. Lord, we welcome you amongst us today and celebrate the gifts of life that you have lavished upon each of us. We ask that you would open our ears so that we may hear your voice, open our minds so that we may receive your eternal wisdom, open our spirits so that we may know your leading and guidance and open our hearts so that we may receive your wonderful love. We ask all this in the glorious name of Jesus. Amen. Today's scripture reading is from Mark verses two through nine. After six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him and led them up a mountain where they all were alone. There he was transfigured before them. His clothes became dazzling white, whiter than anyone in the world could bleach them. And there appeared before them Elijah and Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Then a cloud appeared and covered them, and a voice came from the cloud. This is my son whom I love. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they no longer saw anyone with them except Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus gave them orders not to tell anyone what they had seen until the Son of Man had risen from the dead. Now our first grade class will sing This Little Light of Mine. This Okay, boys and girls, do you know what this is? No. no. Oh, has anybody seen this before? No. no. Well, I'll let your mom and dad use this. How many of you play a sport? All right. And in that sport, do your clothes get dirty? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I think they do. So, did you ever fall down in soccer? Get your clothes muddy and dirty? Yes, we do. So I think what your parents do is they use something like this. It's called stain stick. And to get those stains out and get your clothes bright again, they will use something like this. They'll take it to the laundry room and they will do a special treatment. So the next time you put your uniform on, it's nice and clean, isn't it? It's shining and bright and ready to go. So even though our message today is about the transfiguration of our Lord, it's not a laundry lesson, okay? Because in our lesson, it talks about how the transfiguration of our Lord, he shone bright. His clothes were so bright, they were like nothing that bleach on this earth could do. So we're going to learn a little more about 
the transfiguration of our Lord. Today's Bible lesson is not a laundry lesson, but to, it does mention that Jesus was just transfigured. transfigured them and his clothes, his clothes became yeah. radiant, yeah. intensely white as no one on earth could bleach them. The lesson describes the transfiguration of Jesus. It is a special time in the church year. For the past week, we have been in the Epiphany season where we have seen the glory and power of Jesus. This event brings us to the glorious end of the season. Jesus is on a high mountain with disciples Peter, James, and John. The disciples are blessed to see that Jesus was indeed the Son of God. In, the setting, in that setting, God the Father again speaks. This is my son. Words cannot describe what happened and what Jesus looked like. Mark's gospel again shares that Jesus that Jesus' appearance was brighter and cleaner than any bleach. Just was Jesus was the perfect holy son of God. There was no mark of dirt or sin. Many times more than our clothes are dirty and are in need of cleaning. We are covered with the dirt and sin stain of our sin. Jesus was transfigured on the mountain, would go down from the mountain and proceed, proceed to the this coming week, we will begin to follow Jesus on his journey as we start the Lent season of the church year. The Son of God who was transfigured would himself be covered with bruises and scars in his passion so that we might receive his brightness. Jesus' journey to the cross makes us clean from sin. As a child is baptized, the pastor often directs the family and congregation to a white cloth or clothing. While these items don't glow like Jesus' robes, they remind us that in baptism, we have been cleansed from sins, and by faith, we are wearing clean robes of righteousness. We will now close with a prayer. And the first grade class will sing again this little light of mine. Let us pray. Jesus, we cannot imagine. Jesus, we cannot imagine what it is like. What it is like to see your glory on the mountain. To see your glory on the mountain. Because you went from the Mount of Transfiguration. Because you went from the Mount of Transfiguration. To the Mount of Calvary. To the Mount of Calvary. All who believe in you. All who believe in you. Will see your glory. Will see your glory. In eternity. In eternity. Thank you for covering us. Thank you for covering us. In the white robes of righteousness. In the white robes of righteousness. As we wait for your coming. As we wait for your coming. Amen.